Tony Abreu here with Perceptive Outdoors. In this video, we're going to be doing a review on the AGM ASP Micro TM160 Thermal Handheld Monocular. So stay tuned. So we're looking at the AGM ASP Micro TM160. This is a thermal handheld monocular. It's very small in size. It basically has a 160 core in it, which is the smallest core, probably one of the smallest cores that are out in or available in a monocular. It basically has a lens cap cover here. You can see the lens right there. It also, this is your eyepiece here, doesn't have any kind of adjustment or optical adjustment on the front of the unit, but it does have a small adjustment here that you can move to clear up the picture inside. And then it also has four buttons on top. You got a power button, you got a camera button, you got a menu button, and then you also have a zoom button. And then one other thing to note on this is uh, it has a camera mount right here, which I used quite a bit. And also another good thing to mention is it has a USB-C charging port, which in my opinion is really good because you can put a USB-C in any direction and it's, it doesn't mess it up or whatever. So with that, let's go ahead and get into the review. Whoa. I just realized that I didn't talk about the base magnification or the zoom. So this unit comes in, a, it's a one power base magnification and really it's less than that. Like when you look in it, you can see closer than you can with your eyes. That's kind of weird, but I like that because it gives you a super huge field of view. And then whenever you hit zoom, it goes to two power and you hit zoom again, it goes to four power. And then you hit zoom again and it cycles back to one power. So really the zoom is hard to use on this. I mean, you can zoom and see a heat source, but you definitely can't tell what it is because it gets really pixelated really fast on two power and four power is really pixelated. But I just wanted to share that because I think that's a really important factor in the review. So let's get back to the review. So first thing I want to talk about on this thing is the size. Uh, it's definitely, you know, very small. There are a lot of monoculars out on the market, some smaller, some bigger, but in my opinion, this one fits your hand really well. It's really light. It fits your hand really well. It has a spot right here that came with a, a wrist lanyard, but I took that off and I actually have a neck lanyard for it. So that's pretty cool. Let's talk about what it does. It's a thermal monocular. You power it on, you pull the cap off, you can see in the dark or in the light, you can see the different color temperatures and it works really well. Thermal, if you don't know, is really amazing. It has a sensor in here and it just picks up the different changes of temperature and shows you exactly what you're looking at here in the dark or in the daylight. This particular model right here has a 50 hertz refresh rate, which is really fast. There's a lot of units out on the market right now that have some have 9 hertz, some have 30 hertz, some have 50 hertz, some have 60 hertz. In my opinion, 50 is very crisp. Uh, it doesn't have any lag to it. So when you're looking through it, it stays up, keeps up with the unit, you know, with you moving really well. And that's a really big deal. Next thing, it can record video or take pictures, still shots. So uh, basically, if you want to take a picture with it, you just bump the picture button, which is just the second button. Or if you want to take a video, you hold the button down until the video starts and then it'll start doing video. And then also you hold it down again until the video stops and it'll record video. It has a, an internal memory in it of eight gigabytes. So that's really cool. It, we talked about this, it charges through a USB uh, connection right here. Another a couple things that that USB connection does, you can power the unit by that, you can charge the unit by that. 
you can also extend this unit onto another monitor through that, which is really cool. Uh, you do have to be careful though, because one of the things that I did, I was trying to connect this to a stream app, which I'll talk about in a second. If you have the part on this in the menu, if you have it on to push it to another screen, it will not let you connect to Wi-Fi. So that's a little tip. It can be powered by external battery source. It has an internal lithium battery. It says that like on the box and the people that made this, which is AGM, it says that it has about a seven hour runtime. Now, I'm not sure on that. I never really tested that, but every time that I took it hunting, I never ran it out of battery, but I, I streamed it. I've done all kinds of stuff with it and it works really well. And it, it definitely has enough battery to last you through a hunt. And then, like I said, if you needed to add an external battery, you could to keep you going. So it has four different color palettes. It has white hot, it has black hot, which are the two norms. Then it has like a purple kind of deal with which has purples and oranges i'm not sure the name of that one and then it also has red hot which is my favorite which basically is a white hot but whenever it gets a lot of heat from a unit it also it, it'll put a lot of red on the on the white part so it actually stands out really bright another thing that it does that i didn't write down it has a part in the menu where you can activate hot spots and it has these little green dots that come in the screen and if you if there's a hot spot in your screen and maybe you might not see it but it knows that it's a hot spot it'll start tagging a little green plus sign there just to kind of give you a heads up so that's pretty cool too so what do i like about this unit well again i talked about earlier i like the fact that it's so small and if it hangs around your neck it's not it's pulling on you a little bit and i prefer to have a, a shirt with a pocket so i can just stick it in the pocket with the lanyard but whenever i take it out and use it i'm using it it's really light so i like the size and i like the lightweight aspect of it just to give you a quick idea whenever i'm hunting i usually have my pew pew on a tripod and i'm hunting right now with a pulsar thermion thermal scope but i'll have it i'll have that on the tripod but whenever i'm doing running calls or just checking stuff out i have a scanner that i'm using so I don't have to worry about scanning the whole thing around. I just have this so I can do a whole 360 and not have to worry about hitting anything or moving. And then whenever I see something, I drop this down and I go get on the pew pew and get ready to get ready to do what I'm about to do. So I like the aspect of having a monocular in my arsenal because it definitely takes a lot of energy out of what I'm trying to do and helps save energy because a lot of times, you know, we're stalking and we're walking and we're carrying all this stuff and it's a lot of stuff. Also, I, I might not have mentioned this earlier and I should have, but this unit has the ability to stream to another device. There is a, an app that you can download for Android or Apple. And once you download it, then you can connect. This thing has a its own Wi-Fi hotspot and it'll connect to your device. And then you open up the app and you can completely control uh, this unit except for you know obviously you'll have to aim it but you can completely control the color palettes the the zoom the pictures the recording it's got actually a gallery in there so you can control all of that with the app which is really good and i like that aspect of it that's another thing i like about the scope or this monocular whenever i first got this thing i actually made a video on it and i did a streaming test with it and I put this thing on a tripod and then walked my phone. I was 50 yards away from it and it was still streaming to my phone, which kind of opens up a great door of like avenues that you can use this thing for. Because like for me, I've used it many times whenever I'm driving my golf cart at nighttime just to see where I'm at as far as if I'm not going to run into anything. Also with this mount right here, you could put it on top of a spinning pan tilt unit and you could actually stream it and then you can see where you're going you can see what's in front of you so that's really cool and i've even thought about putting a mount on a drone and actually taking it up 30 or 40 feet or 40 yards up in the air at nighttime you know whenever you're shooting at stuff it's hard to recover animals sometimes because of the vegetation and this could help you 
I think it's light enough that the drone would just pick it right up and you could probably use it for that. And I haven't done that yet, but that's something that's on my bucket list. The next thing I like about it is the video capability. There are units that are out that you cannot record video or even take still shots. And just to give you an example, last night I was using it. Uh, to, we had a couple of coyotes down and after the shot and we loaded up on the golf cart to go retrieve them sometimes i'll stand up on the top deck and just to try to locate them because again the vegetation makes it hard to locate anything and you know using this for video we, we record a lot or we i even whenever i get to the animal that's there i'll take still pictures of it just to have them because they're cool pictures to have and it's a different aspect of a picture this thing is also IP67 water resistant, which is really good. So if it's raining, you, you don't really have to worry about, you know, damaging it in the rain, which is another good thing because even like last night, it wasn't raining, but the humidity was so high and it was so foggy that, you know, you don't have to worry about it not working anymore because it got wet. So that's a great, great thing. Another thing I like about it is the internal memory aspect of it you don't have to go out and buy a memory card for it and a lot of the scopes that i see that you have to buy memory cards people always kind of mess that up and that's a big deal so i like that aspect of it as well i love the fact that it has a super fast refresh rate i have actually been driving down the road doing 55 miles an hour streaming this to my phone and having it out the window and you can see crisp and clear all the way across fields and see if anything was there if you were trying to do that. So that's another good thing that I like about it. It's such a high refresh rate and to be going that fast, it's really a crispy picture, which is really cool. So now let's talk about what I don't like about it. Whenever I first bought this, this was the first thermal that I ever owned. As far as like the distance goes, this thing, you know, doesn't have a lot of distance. I have seen hogs, at 300 yards with it but they were big and they were really small in the unit so they were really hard to tell you obviously you wouldn't be able to id it but i knew they were hogs what i'm saying is is that it does not have a lot of range so what i don't like about it is i don't like the range i try i was trying to use it for longer ranges than i should have been but i was quickly uh, shown that you know you can't use this for far ranges Another thing that I don't like about it, and I don't have many dislikes, but whenever you get this, it comes with just this and it comes in a box and there's no real way to store this. What I did was I had a soft case made for it and I just keep it in the soft case so it doesn't get all scratched up and uh, that kind of holds it good and you know kind of protects it. I don't like the fact that it doesn't come with one, but if you want one of these, if you go to Perceptive Outdoor Gear, Dot com. They, I have these on my website and they're under $10. Another thing that I don't like about it, it does take a few seconds to start up whenever you power it up. Also with the power button, if you're using it, you can just bump the power button and it'll turn the display off to save battery and then you bump it again and it'll turn it back on, which is cool. But what I don't like about it is how long you have to hold down this button to get it to record. I mean, it seems like five seconds. Now it's not five seconds, but what I mean is if you're taking a video and you hold down the button, it takes about three seconds for you, of you holding it down for it to start recording video and then three seconds again for it to stop. And I really don't like that. I'm not sure you know, what the solution is for that, but it just seems like it takes forever to hold it down. So that's pretty much it for the dislikes. Let's talk about how to use this or how I would recommend how to use this or who this unit is for. The best way that I would recommend to use this unit right here is let's say that you were walking to your deer stand. This would be a good unit just to use just as you were walking through the woods just to see if there's anything there that you might not normally see without having to blast your light and broadcast your light everywhere. If I was walking to my deer stand and I just getting up close there and I needed to see if there was something on like the feeder or, you know, close to the deer stand, this would be a great unit for that. Also, this unit is great for locating your, your game after the shot. I always, whenever I deer hunt, I always like to deer hunt better in the morning than I did it at night because it seemed like at nighttime they come out right before dark and then you shoot and then you spend a couple hours trying to locate them sometimes. 
or if you're like my son, you know, he says, shoot them in the neck, daddy, so they don't run off, which is kind of funny. So having this right here definitely will help you locate your game better. And that's another great thing. This unit, I would say that if you are in close quarters, you know, under 100 yards, this is a great unit. But if you're trying to use this for like 150 or 200 yards, I mean, it'll do some things, but it's not going to do a lot of things. And I just don't think that that's the unit that you need to get. Now, I do have the 384 unit, which is the next model up, and I love it. I use it. It works great for even over 100, and I love it. It's night and day compared to this one. But this one does have its uses. Another thing that this would be good for, if you got a mount and you were, let's just say you're in a tree stand or in like a shooting house, and you were hunting at nighttime, waiting for the hogs to come in because they usually come in after dark anyways. If you had this thing mounted on your, you know, on your window facing the feeder or whatever, and you streamed it to your phone, you could take your hands off of it and it'll stream. And you could know that if, when something gets there without having to pull your rifle up to look. So that's another great use for it. Uh, but again, 100 yards or under, I wouldn't go probably over that. Uh, you can definitely you know, ID a deer at 100 yards. I mean, 75 to 100 is pushing it. But anything after that, you know, ID, ID wise, which is like, I can tell that's a deer, or I can tell that's a hog. Anything after that is going to be really difficult and I'm not going to recommend it. But using it to find heat sources, definitely probably out to 200, uh, 150 to 200, no problem. Another way that I would think that, you, or that I know that you can use this and I've done it, I mounted it on my windshield on my golf cart and drive, drive around in complete darkness all the time. You can see, you know, where the ruts are in the road. It has a really good picture. So that's always good. And then uh, I talked about this earlier, but I even thought about mounting it to a drone to raise it up and actually look for a game that might be in the grass somewhere. That's pretty much wraps up my review. Again, this is the AGM Micro ASP TM160. It's been a good unit, and uh, I'm glad I got it. It was the first thermal I had. I'm going to be getting rid of this unit pretty soon because I just want to make room for more units so I can do more reviews. But it's definitely a great unit. It has its purpose. It's really cheap. It comes in just under 500 bucks. And uh, thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, please uh, smash the like button for me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And we're definitely uh, moving up in the ranks on the subscribers, so I really appreciate you. If there's something that you want to know about this unit or any other video that I've done, please feel free to drop a comment below, ask a question. I love helping out with questions. Uh, that's what I do. And uh, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next video.